Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial. A couple days ago, I showed you how to spruce up your Facebook timeline photos. And I provided you with two different templates, one for your page and one for your profile. And about a week ago, Google Plus actually updated their UI. And now guess what they have? Cover photos. So here we have this cover photo along with the profile photo. What should we do? We should take one image and combine them within the cover photo and profile photo. So let's go ahead and take a look at this template I have that you can download at the links in the description below. There's two different templates and we'll get to that here in just a little bit. So basically the purple area is the cover photo, the black area is the profile photo. Now the cover photo actually gets cropped out a little and that's what this red indicates right here. This is the part of the image that gets cut out and a little bit here to the left, this is where this little arrow is going to be. So let's go ahead and place an image in here. It's exactly the same method as we did with our Facebook cover photos. So let's go ahead and go to File, Place. And I have a photo here of a zebra. Let's go ahead and hold on Alt and Shift. Size this up a little. Right around there. Enter. And there we have our zebra. Now luckily I had this photo of the zebra because the other zebra wasn't really photogenic. Let's go back. Okay. So let's go ahead and with the zebra layer selected, let's go to the rectangular marquee tool. Select from this top left corner to this bottom right corner. And there we have the cover photo selected. Let's go to Edit, Copy. And if you have a lot of layers you need to copy, just go to Edit, Copy, Merged. So let's go to File, New. Let's go ahead and name this Cover Photo. And the size needs to be 940 by 180. So click OK. Let's go to Paste, Edit, Paste. And there we have our cover photo. Just go to File, Save As. I'm going to save this as a JPEG this time coverphoto.jpg, save, and a quality at around 8. Click OK, and there we have our cover photo. So let's go back to our template here, and let's go ahead and select the profile photo. So if you need help with this, you can always take a look at the guides and select it with the guides on. Just like that, we can bring the zebra back in. Let's go to Edit, Copy, or Copy Merged, File New, and the size will be 251 by 251. Let's go ahead and name this profile photo and let's go to edit paste control or command V to paste that in and then we can go to file save as save this as a JPEG save and save so there we have our cover and profile photos just as simple as that now we can go to Google Plus change our profile photo let's go ahead and drag that in and we want this to be full size we don't want to crop it out at all so just like that, set as profile photo, cancel, I don't want to share that, and let's go ahead and change the cover photo to this, save, okay, and boom, there you have the cover photo going along with the profile photo. Now Google Plus does have another template you can choose from, they actually have this template right here where it's five different images and then your profile photo so there's a template for that let's go to template blocks here and here's an example of what we're going to be creating except the giraffe's head will be aligned perfectly uh, this one I uh, had a little trouble so you may be thinking this is going to be hard we're gonna have to select all of these images one by one save them well that's not the case here go to control or command H or go to view extras and view those extras here you'll see a lot more extras than you'll be expecting. Well that's because we have slices set up so that we don't have to go in and save each individual picture. So to show how this works, let's go to File, Place, let's get that zebra going here. Size it up. You can kind of see here's the profile photo and here's these five different images. Now we can kind of do it like that. Alright, hit Enter. And all we have to do now, after we placed that image, is go to File, Save for Web. I'm going to save this as a JPEG, high quality of 60. And let's go to Save. And make sure the format is set to Images Only, everything else as is, and just save this. Now you'll get a new folder here, and look at what this folder contains. All five images, including the profile image, already done for you. So all you have to do is go to Google+. Plus, Add photo, add image one, add image two, three, 
4, and 5. OK, and then change your profile photo. Make this full size, no cropping. And there we have the zebra going along with all those images. Here's a few other examples. You can see the entire image is here in those five blocks there, and they have a different profile photo. Another example, and one more. So just like you can with Facebook, you can get pretty creative with this. And whatever you do make, go ahead and share those with me. I'd love to see what you guys make from these, either in the comments below, Facebook, or Google+. You've seen my account name. And if you'd like to see the written tutorial for this, go ahead and check out the first link in the description below at robertsproductions.net. So hopefully this helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And as before, if you're a zebra, go ahead and use this. What noise does a zebra make?